I'm at this incredible A-frame treehouse today. It is dubbed the Sky Frame. It's about 350 square feet. You have a fire pit right out front here, also a hot tub back there, and I'm also looking towards a lake right now as I'm speaking to you. It's a two minute walk to your own private dock on a lake out here in the woods in Maine. So it's very rare that a place checks all the boxes for me. The fact that it's unique, it has incredible amenities, and a perfect location, but this place certainly does. That's quite rare to find now nowadays on Airbnb. So without further ado, let's now hop into a tour of the Skyframe. Welcome to this incredible tiny A-frame treehouse up here in Maine. This is what you're gonna see as soon as you pull up in your car, the slick black roof, the sun reflecting off of it. And if we now move a little bit more to the right, let's go to the main side of the exterior. Welcome to the breathtaking facade of this A-frame cabin. This cabin just towers over its surroundings. The first time that I saw it, my jaw just dropped. It really sticks out amongst all these trees. I also love the black awning of the roof and how it contrasts with the wood paneling on the side. And just wait until you see it all lit up. I have all the exterior lights now turned on and I'm making up a fire with one of my buddies from college who joined me. But now we've got the fire going. There are three chairs around this fire pit. This treehouse can sleep up to four guests. You'll see more in the interior, but this thing just feels very ultra modern, very futuristic. I just love everything when it is all lit up and there is just no one around us. There's complete and utter privacy. One of my favorite parts of the facade is all of those windows. And even though that the owner may classify this more as a treehouse, it still sticks to one of the most important features of any A-frame in my opinion, which is having as many windows as possible on the front of the cabin. We'll now go to the other side of the exterior to point out a very key outdoor amenity, and that is your hot tub. You can see me right here taking off the cover. I have some string lights right above me, but the coolest part of this hot tub is definitely the location. It is wedged amongst a bunch of these huge rocks and stones. You can see more from the drone here, the exact location. I mean, just how cool is this? Definitely one of the best locations of any hot tub. And then you can see the A-frame is right there in the background while you're chilling in the tub. Last but certainly not least for the exterior, this is your own private dock on a lake literally two minutes from the A-frame. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. The owner even left behind a two-person canoe that you can take out on the water. I also flew my drone right around sunset to give you a bird's eye view, and I loved how the clouds and the sky was reflecting right on the water. That's it for the exterior. So we're now gonna walk up the very tall spiral staircase to the outdoor deck before we go inside to the A-frame for the first time. As we pan from left to right, you'll notice a little grill over there on one side, a chair, and more on the right-hand side, you have some more seating options and a little table. So you can have your meals out here if you'd like. Now that we're much closer up, I'll point out again that beautiful wood siding. You can also get a closer glimpse at the roof and those two gigantic windows, which are my favorites. You can also peek over the railing and look back into the woods. You can see the fire pit on the bottom left and the path that leads to the lake. But let's now open up this door and finally go inside to explore the cabin. Now in the interior, this is the main area you're gonna come into as soon as you walk in. It's quite an open floor plan. You have the living room space on the left-hand side and the kitchen on the right. If you look now from this angle, the staircase definitely stood out to me as well. It's very unique. That leads up to the loft bedroom, which we'll cover shortly. There's even a chandelier up top, and this is an A-frame, so of course we have some high arch ceilings. In this corner, you have a little guitar and a comfy chair, and then a table and a wraparound bench here. You can definitely also get some work done as there is very strong Wi-Fi in this A-frame. Above the table, there is a projector, and you can then pull down a screen here to watch a movie. How is that for a sweet amenity? 
will now venture to the other side of this main area to the kitchen. I thought the design of this area was top notch. We'll start over on the left and you have your fridge and freezer combo and some more utensils up top. Then right next to that is your stove top and oven. So you have all of your major appliances in this kitchen. We'll see your sink here in the middle. If you now go to the other side of the kitchen and walk into this corner, you have stuff like your coffee maker, toaster, mugs, plates, glasses, everything that you need. Next up, still on this same floor, we have these three doors. The door on the right is a closet. We'll go straight ahead into the one bathroom inside of this A-frame. In particular, the gorgeous bright blue sink definitely stood out to me. It sits on top of this huge log. Against this wall then, you have your toilet, and above that, some extra towels and toilet paper. The shower then is similar to the sink. You have some bright blue tiles that contrast perfectly, I think, with the black shower handle and shower head. Right next to the bathroom, we're now gonna go into the first of two bedrooms inside of this A-frame. You have this gigantic skylight window, which lets in a bunch of great natural lights you can wake up to. In this corner, you also have this cool spot where you can hang up all your clothes or some of your jackets. And against that wall, you have some darker stained wood and a cool lamp on top of the table. Let's now head back into the main area again because it's time to walk up the beautiful staircase and to check out the loft bedroom. Up in the loft now, you have another big bed and some more beautiful woodwork everywhere that you look. I think some of my favorite features though was the cool headboard behind the bed and also I thought that lighting fixture was quite unique. Now directly opposite of the bed, you have another big skylight window just like the bedroom downstairs and a very comfortable looking blue chair over there on the left. Last but not least, we're gonna peek over the railing from the loft and you have this huge chandelier which just lights up the entire space. Also now glancing towards my favorite part, the windows again to give you a different perspective and you can then have a bird's eye view looking down into the kitchen and the living room as you pan from left to right. Thanks for watching my tour guys. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I've also shot over 20 other A-frame cabins at this point. I love A-frames if you haven't been able to tell yet, so be sure to check out some of my other A-frame tours. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next week for a brand new Airbnb tour.